I'll just get on with it and tell you what's the point of this video. I think the gas passer should be equipped on Pyro's melee slot. Some days ago, Zesty Jesus posted a very interesting video about why the gas passer is currently the worst weapon in TF2. As usual, his video is simply excellent and I really recommend you go watch it later in case you haven't already. Basically, he explains how the gas passer, among all of Pyro's secondaries, lacks any resemblance of fun or usefulness. Of all he said, two main things stuck with me. First, the gas passer promotes a suicidal WM1 playstyle, in which the Pyro has to be always aggressive in order to be able to charge the gas passer and use it. Second, the Pyro doesn't benefit directly from using the gas passer, because it is mostly a long-range weapon, and the other weapons a Pyro has at hand, the melee and the primary flamethrower, have very limited range. In face of that, an idea came to my mind. Those downsides exist mainly because you have to give up flares and shotguns in order to equip the gas passer. But what if you could use the gas passer with those other secondaries? What if the gas passer was equipped on the melee weapon slot? That's an interesting idea because it would enable you to combo with it. Just imagine, you throw the gas at range, dousing the enemy team, and soon after you ignite it with a flare. It wouldn't just be really cool, it would make the weapon useful for once. The gas passer would become a weapon to increase Pyro's range and possibilities. What I find most interesting about this idea is the fact that, while increasing attack range by being able to ignite the gas cloud with a secondary shot, the Pyro would also give up some of his short-range effectiveness by not being able to equip an extinguisher, for example, or give up some sort of general utility by not being able to equip something like a backscratcher or a power jack. In that way, this change would already balance itself in some manner. But I also think it would be interesting to add another downside to the gas passer, like the Persian Persuader has, reduced maximum primary ammo. This would further emphasize the long-range playstyle I'm proposing to the gas passer. Along with it, personally, I find that the weapon should be available from spawn and recharged by supply cabinets, like it happens with Mad Milk and Jarati. With this, some of Pyro's other secondary weapons would gain relevance. With less ammo for the flamethrower, the Man Melter, for example, would help because it can extinguish teammates, preserving ammo. And not only that, this change would also affect how we see weapons for other classes. For example, I don't see the Darwin's Danger Shield being used that often nowadays because its upside, immunity from afterburn, is not enough to justify giving up Jarati or an SMG, because snipers aren't often directly threatened by pyros. With this change to the gas passer, enabling pyro to completely combo at throwing range, this shield could be seen as a more useful weapon. Another interesting weapon to look at is the Southern Hospitality. Some people consider it a direct upgrade from the stock range, because its major downside, 20% extra vulnerability from fire damage, rarely comes to play, since engineers also don't have to fight pyros directly. Allowing pyro to use the gas passer with his other secondaries would make this downside more meaningful and perhaps could help balance the southern hospitality as well. So yeah, I believe the gas passer should be equipped on Pyro's melee slot. And what do you think? Is this an interesting idea or am I just rambling? Let me know in the comments, I'm interested in hearing your perspective on this. Anyway, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to see my future content. See you next time and bye bye!